Welcome back to Adrian Howe's story. I'm Fire Nation and this is Project Zomboid. How's it going? And good morning. Uh, let me put my book I'm reading away. So I've done quite a bit off camera. It is now day almost 13. 247 zombies dispatched. I went and grabbed all the loot over at the survivor's house and I've read quite a few books. I can't remember all of them but i went through all my reading material i think i have like two books farming one and foraging one to finish and that's that i also grabbed some tables from around the neighborhood and did some decorating i put all the ammo canisters out here and then all the weapons all the the like really heavy weapons that we had found and stuff like that and then some more melee stuff and then i set up some crates all of the ammo and magazines are in this one. I haven't filled these up yet with anything. And then the rest of our other like uh, shotgun and stuff like that's in there. And I also finished barricading where there it is. Yeah, I finished barricading these windows up. I had to actually go out and collect nails the old fashioned way. So I took down all of this fence up to here. And then, uh, went and gutted a few houses. And also, I moved that cursed microwave outside, because I will never have that happen again. Okay, so, let me see where we're at on the map. We should probably go over here and continue. I can now mark this off. Oh, wait, no. I haven't done that. Yeah, I don't know if I've done that house, but I think so. But we can also continue over here. And there is a U-Store facility right here. So maybe we go check that out. That's kind of in the area where we left off. Oh, I also grabbed a... Uh, one of those garbage bins. The green one. And put it in my kitchen. I've also been sorting uh, most of my loot out. I haven't quite finished all of it. But I got all the food in one spot. And then set up my junk drawer. I moved all of my tailoring stuff. And all my reading material upstairs into my bedroom. So I've done quite a bit. I don't think I've gotten any levels in anything. But we're close to Carpentry 5. Cooking, haven't really done any of that. Electrical, we're almost up. Okay, so this is the U-Store facility. They've already busted that door out. And I'm going to let these guys bang on this fence to knock it down. And hopefully we get some melee weapons out of that. Ah, so this house is burnt down, eh? I don't think there's anything in there. I also read the How To Generators magazine. Another garbage bag. Perfect. we have taken those. Is there anything in here worthwhile? Normally, I don't ever even come into these places. Ooh. There's a sewing kit with some more thread, which I need. Once I can get my tailoring to like one or two, then I'll be able to tear up clothes and get quite a bit more thread out of them than I'm currently getting with the no skill I have in it. And then I can really start powering through it. Um, What's down here? Just that park, eh? Yeah. Alright, well, maybe we go in here. Only a few zombies in here that I can see. This would make a decent base location, too. Big fences all the way around. Yeah. Or at least, like, if you had your base close by to this, you could, uh, use these as, like, garages. They're all going to be locked, which I did grab the sledgehammer from the survivor's house. But I kind of just wanted to come down here and scope this out for the time being. And we'll have to come back here with the sledgy. I'm going to grab all of this. The water and electricity is still on, so I've been storing up bottles of water for when that eventually goes out. Where did you come from? Well, he might have spawned in, because it is only uh, day 13 about. Come on. Come on. Get 
Get out of here. Get out of here, dude, boy. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of here. And maybe we go down south this way. Check out some stuff. See if there's anything over here that's worthwhile. Uh, nothing in there. No garbage bag either. I don't think I've been in this house. No, I have. Okay. Ooh. There's a zippy market and a liquor store, eh? Right there. Yeah, let's go check these out, maybe. Ooh, but... Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was scared of. Hopping over that fence into the unknown. It's kind of scary. All the overalls I'm finding are all beat up. I haven't found any good pairs. Okay, so maybe we go back this way. Have I been in here? Where's this little building? Just a house? Okay. I'll skip that for now. Let's try going, uh... Well, there also is that, like, strip of houses on the, uh, main street, too. So that wall continues there. You know what? Maybe we go that way. Let's go over here and check this out. God, it is dark. Was there any, like... Legal services, Hugo Plush, Diner, Ice Store, or an optometrist. Looking for like a hardware store or anything, or like a market, because oftentimes the markets will have nails. Nothing, huh? Dang it. Um, diner. I don't think any of these would have boxes and nails in them. This is probably a clothing store. Nothing in the mailbox. Got all the books I need for now. Insurance, bargain clothes. I haven't been down this way, really. Take those vitamins from you, sir. Thank you. Ooh, there's even alleys that go through here. That's kind of sketchy. I don't want to be in any of those. There's a Spiffos here. Ooh, and this Jeep? Oh, I already checked that out, didn't I? It's a nice looking Jeep, though. Time for sport? That could be something. Little, like, uh, sporting goods store. Might be able to find some good stuff in there. Anything behind me? No. Um, I don't want to use up my ball peen hammer. Just in case I need to disassemble something on the go. But you can take that. What all do I have on me in my bag? Ah, okay. Nothing really. Perfect. Do you want to check out this mailbox nice some more ammo contains magazine so we'll eject that and rack that bad boy to get all the lovely bullets out of it put this magazine in here and I think we'll drop that on the ground for the time being nothing in that mailbox Let's have a look at what else is over here real quick. Ooh, garbage bag central right here. Hell yeah. And bottles for that matter. Need them both. Be making some rank collectors here soon. Take that. Hello ma'am, have you met my cleaver of justice yet? Mm. Another garbage bag there. Garbage big. Give me the garbage bigs. Garbage big, empty bottle. Another garbage big. Another garbage big. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I'm going all joisy on you. 
from Joyzy Shore. All right, so there's two Zeds in there. Gotta be careful with these buildings. There could be a whole horde of Zeds upstairs that come and block me out uh, in the inside. Okay, no stairs here right away though. Lacrosse stick. Three baseball bats. Okay. Five baseball bats. All right. Aviator glasses. I'll wear those. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, we look dope now. What do you got in here? Boxing headgear, baseball helmet, hockey and lacrosse stick, hockey helmet. I can hear something shuffling around out there. Some hats, some money, some more sunglasses, a baklava. All right, well, I could turn these into nailed baseball bats. If I ever find any dang nail. I'll take the bats for now. We do have level one and long blunt, so we could start using them. I'm going to have to come back here to tear up all that stuff for thread. For sure. That looks like a garage. Ooh. There's an ambulance here. Ambulancia! Woo! Trauma bag. Uh, 18 and 65 on that. I think it's the same as the duffel. Right? 18 and 65. Yep. Same as a duffel. This thing's probably trashed, but I'll take the alcohol wipes out of it. Yeah. I have anything oh I can toss those put this in here I don't need the scrap electronics let's get this other garbage big all right oh a little like farm shed check out this garage I see some containers over on this side come on hey, get in there Oh. Empty. That's my luck. A couple of bambinos hanging out over here. Take care of these guys and girls. Nothing there. Oh, hello. No. You're not getting me with that grab move, sir. have a smoko real quick check out what we got here a uh, leather jacket I'll toss on the ground and nothing else nothing on him nothing on you I think that's all the zombies from that section surprisingly not a whole lot of zombies in this area anymore but I guarantee some of the other places are going to be jam-packed. Especially if they're all getting corralled by fences and stuff. Okay, they're right there. Aw, oh, dang it. No. Open the window. Oh, they've already made it through that door. Wow. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that's why. 
Yep. That there would be a reason why. Uh, let's get the machete out. Haven't quite got a whole skill in machete or long blade yet, but that's okay. This thing's still a beast. And I, I've, in the last episode, I think I mentioned I had a bunch of duct tape. I, however, do not. I only found one roll, so I must have been thinking about my previous run with men. All the loot and stuff like that is just starting to coagulate together. I can't remember. Oh, no, don't do that. No secondary dismantle. Um, nothing else? Okay. Yeah, let's be careful here. Get the cleaver back out. Could still be... They were all in the bathroom, too. Yeah, they could still be lurking in here. I'm gonna fill up all these bottles while I'm here. Eat some marinara. Okay. Please have nails. Ooh. This looks promising. Please. 44 mag ammo. WD-40. Used to clean. Ooh! Restore condition on firearm? <gasps> yes! Box of nails! Oh my god, I can do so much with that. Thank you so much, game. Balkeen hammer. Another empty gas can. Uh, where does this go? Out here. Okay. What about this little shed? Does it have anything in it? Ooh, this is cool. I like this. Another duffel bag. Uh, we can dismantle those. Um, I'll come back. Maybe for that. Four ice creams in there. Uh, we've already read that one. I got excited for a moment. But we did get what we got to, uh, what we came out to get, which is nails. One box is better than no box. You gonna go over the fence? There we go. Does this place have a garage on it? It does. Is this door open? It is. Ooh. Nails? Ah. There's nothing on those shelves. Maybe I'll come back and grab one of those lounge chairs. Toss it in my yard. Man, I'm loving this, though. It's so much fun. Oh, wait. I'm not on my street. This big city living there. Loving it. So much new stuff to explore. I've played through West Point and Muldra and Riverside and Rosewood so many times. And no, nah, I've never been to Louisville, but hey, this is a close second. Or dare I say even better. Um, I'll toss that on the ground. I'm gonna go home, drop off all my loot, and reconvene with you guys in the morning. So I'll be right back unless it gets crazy. I'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. It is now the next day, which is day 14. 282 zombies dispatched. Our weight is 82, so it's kind of stabilized and making sure not to go over too much. So I did some tailoring this morning and got like one and a quarter. So we've got a good bit of skill going on that, and I've got a few tailoring books, and now it's really foggy outside, so I was thinking... Oh, they're all kind of despawned. Well, I was going to come out here and grab some thread. Oh, well. We can dismantle this watch and rip apart this leather jacket. And this leather jacket. <clears throat> also, some scissors here I need to come pick up. Ooh, are you still there? Oh, there's some logs right there I never went and grabbed. 
perfect. Well, I've got nails now. Actually, hold on. I need to make a dump crate. Like two crates right at the beginning of my base that I can just shove everything in while we're doing the episodes and then go and sort it out afterwards. Oh yeah, we got a ton of logs here. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just grab for now. Man, it is eerie outside. Did I not grab? Hold on. I've got some sheet ropes in here. I also need to put my nails and stuff away. Let's put that in here. We'll saw our logs inside of here where it's all nice and safe. Put the nails away. Okay. Um, sheet ropes right here. Keeping them in my toolbox along with the sludgy boy. Speaking of, I need to go grab that generator and then maybe take the sludgy boy over to... Was that a zombie sitting there? Huh. Maybe take the sludgy boy over to that U store. Three log stack. Let's grab one. Oh, perfect. Right here. Four logs. And grab you. And then I'll be using these tree branches. Or spears, I think. It depends, really, what weapon we get. Oops. Didn't mean to open that. There we go. The truck's kind of glitching out through, <laughs> through the wall there. It's funny looking. Alright, let's unstack you. And then we'll go out and grab some more. Now I can really get on barricading. I still need to finish off the other parts of the house. On the inside, I think. And then do the outsides just in case because I have no idea of telling how many damn zombies are still in this area and I would rather be safe let's make a three log stack grab this and then I can also use the twigs for the fireplace inside which is nice I like sitting by it and reading maybe I'll find some teacups and have a cup of tea there all right, let's saw um, all of these logs. There we go. Zrip. I don't like going out when it's foggy too much if I can avoid it. Put the sheet ropes back. All right. And not that. Let's open this box of nails. Perfect. And we'll grab as many as we can carry. Let's do some more barricading. That's fine. I could barricade both the doors up and then use the garage doors to get in and out. Are these two done? Yeah. Oh, and also I figured out why I wasn't able to unbarricade windows uh, on that survivor's house is because I had a ball peen hammer, not a claw hammer. <laughs> not the regular claw hammer. So. I've got a regular hammer in my inventory now for that purpose. Okay. So I think that's all the inside done. Yeah, it makes sense. Ball peen hammer doesn't have a claw on the back of it. You dingus. Well, I'm never going to use this door back here. So well, let's lock it. Keep the zim zam zimbalinis out. Wim bam boom boom bam And we'll barricade this bad boy up. Perfect. trying to think that there's any other windows I don't think there is yeah no we got them all so now we can go outside and start doing it out there um what's my health that need to be careful here yeah you know what no no nah. let's take what we got barricade you up Three more left. We can go on to this side and do that. I might take this fence down. I'm not I'm not sure on it yet. I kinda like it, but also it's kind of in the way. Stupid skeletons. 
if I do take that picket fence down, I'll probably make my own wall that kind of encompasses this whole area and then have it like jet out that way. If that makes sense. Because I kind of like this driveway idea. Let's get this all nice and fortified up. Ain't no zombies getting in here. I should also set an escape rope up over here and then on the other side of the house. I wonder if I could knock a wall out right here and build floors on top of this. That would be dope. Make my own balcony. Nope. Nope. Stop it. Stop it right there. I'll leave the front door unbarricaded for the time being. If I build a proper wall in here, I won't need it. Okay, three more planks. Wow, I've already used up half of my nails. Dang! That's gonna be my Achilles heel. Oh, come on. Get in there. Can I disassemble these railings? Maybe with this? No. Oh well. Let's get a couple on this guy. Is that one done? No, I'm out of planks. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna do this anyways. Oh, I gotta go to the other side. There we go. We'll get some more nails back. Hopefully get a level up in carpentry real quick. There it is. Um, and I think I need to read, nope, we're good. Let's grab all this, zrip, and you two, and you. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Let's go over here and finish these windows. All right, we got one spare. That's looking good. Yeah, I'm gonna take this fence apart all the way around this bad boy and build my own wall. Okay, drop that plank off. And I think this is where I'm gonna call it an episode. As always, if you like the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. You are one click away from joining the Fire Nation Army and together we will rule the apocalypse of Knox County. As always, I will link another Zomboid playlist up here for your viewing pleasure. Feel free to check them out. We have some good runs. And we die in some stupid ways sometimes, but we always keep on trucking on. And if you're just tuning into this episode, go on back to episode one. This is a whole series for Adrian Howe's story and adventure through Knox County. Have a great day out there, all you beautiful people.